Hello guys, Coverfed Company here and in today's video I will share my workflow on making 3D printed renders. Why would you want to make 3D printed renders? So let's imagine you print something and want to make a good quality photos of your print but you don't have equipment, you are not a good photographer and your photos looks not as pleasant as you want or maybe you just don't want to Spend your filament on something that you just want to make a picture of and I will help you today and we will make something looks like this or I don't know this maybe this something that looks like 3d printed but not existing in real life you something that you uh, may have seen on my Instagram page so let's get started. For this we need two software. First is the Prusa Slicer. The main setting that you should change is a nozzle diameter in the printer settings tab. You should choose something really similar to your real print. So I am printing in with one millimeter nozzle and for this case I'm using something lower just to be safe in case Prusa just don't work well with one millimeter diameter. Another settings we should change is solid layers here, top and bottom should be zero if you don't need them because it's uh, increase the file size a lot. Also don't check this spiral ways if you are working with vases because spiral ways mode give you uh, some bug looky, baggy looky uh, G-code in viewer. Also turn off your infill density because it will increase your file size too. So let's slice our model that I already exported here. And sometimes you may see this strange results, it's a quick fix. We just need to scale our model a little bit. Let's say 125 wait a little and yeah already we got something that looks like a 3d printed stuff so I won't highly recommend you to de-check this box if you're working with base mode and leave only external perimeter so go to file export export toolpath and obj the next software we will need is a blender 3d it's free you can download it and for this tutorial you should be a little bit familiar with blender so i am highly recommend you to check some tutorials on it uh, if your thing makes different from what i have here press a double and x delete everything and now we will shoot should be on the same thing. X delete. Clear skin. Okay. So I'm already imported our uh, my OBJ, but for import your OBJ you should go to the file import wavefront.obj and find your files that we created with Prusa Slicer. So here is my vase, it's already exported, but it's really big for the scale dimensions that Blender use. Select our model, press S slash and divide it by 100. Then press the key, period key and we will be close to our model. Sometimes the rotation of, on our axis can be different from the slicer. So Rx19 minus will fix this. We need to add some background for this shift a plane s 10 tab select the corners two dots here easy 10 easy nope gz 10 for give it a little bit higher select two dots ctrl b drag your mouse drag your wheel for something like this okay tap go out of edit mode 
right click shade smooth okay need now we need to add our camera shift a camera okay maybe we need to scale it a little bit more select our model s divided by 10 okay period k great select our camera alt g alt r rx 90 g y slide it gz move it up go to the this tab camera preferences i'm using 50 millimeter lens oh, blender have 50 millimeter lens but we need something like 80 mil for more realistic look also go here this is the instagram stories dimension you can change it here for whatever for whatever you want sorry for my english okay just grab this corner here we split our tab on two on the, this side make click zero and here we need to set our camera g y move it forward g z slide it a little down so gz slide a little bit down more g y just position your camera like you wanted to go to the camera tab use shift y to tilt it a little bit it's something from photography i don't really know but trust me something close to this looks great now for the renders we need to have a cycles enabled go to the this tab click here click on the color choose the sky texture settings i really like 10.69 30 120 zero 01 now drag your mouse here click z render it wait a little bit we should look already we should already see our render here so you can play around with numbers but basically it's is all what i want to show you we can change our color of our ways just select the ways go here here and drag it somewhere that looks present for you I'll, I really like lava ways with some orange colors like this so for me this looks incredible maybe I change I will change the dimensions of our shot inverse them okay yeah that looks good for me now to go to the render render image and wait for the render to be complete so let me show you quickly my render settings here i'm using 256 samples nothing fancy cycles with gpu without the noise because it looks a little bit realistic for me more realistic so yeah this is our final render you also can increase the quality of your image in blender but i think it looks decent for something that should be looks like 3d printed and also when you make export from process slicer you have this little strange stuff going on but it, it is definitely add some more realistic look to our model to increase the quality of your pictures you can also just drag this to 200 and you will good to go so yeah this is all what i want to show you wanted to show you sorry for my english it's disgusting okay bye see you later